there is rarely a better time to sell weapons in South Korea. At a time of regional instability, almost every military need was catered for at this year's International Aerospace and Defence Exhibition, providing an opportunity for local developers to show their wares. We cannot say that HANA's weapon system are the world's best. However, performance compared to the price is outstanding. In particular, we can provide solutions customized to each country's needs. Many of the state-of-the-art weapons used by South Korea are purchased from the United States. But the government wants to change that. South Korea aspires to become a military giant, strengthening the industry by improving its competitive edge. Exports of the locally manufactured T-50 trainer jet in the past 10 years have brought in $2.3 billion. But the company which manufactured the T-50 has been mired in a corruption and embezzlement scandal involving major defence projects. There have been corruption allegations involving arms procurement process or manufacturers. However, we've set up institutional mechanisms to root out corruption and boost integrity. In the long term, we'll be able to develop weapons while integrity is secured. We'll be able to win the trust from South Korean people and also the international community. The escalating tension with North Korea has placed a stronger focus on this year's exhibition. 33 countries are showing off their military hardware here. President Moon Jae-in has used the event to contend that the country needs to advance its defence systems to counterbalance North Korea's nuclear threat. Urgently need to secure enhanced capabilities for our own aerospace and defence industries. We must deploy advanced weapon systems with superior capabilities that can protect the people from North Korea's security threat. Korea will direct all efforts, he says, into a three-pillar defence system, comprising the toughly named Kill Chain, a strike system designed to preemptively target North Korean missile sites, the Korean Air and Missile Defence System, and the Korea Massive Punishment and Retaliation Systems, designed to target the North's leadership if South Korea comes under attack. Craig Leeson, Al Jazeera, Songnam, South Korea.